My name is James Williams Jr. It is officially Wednesday morning. It's 12.07 midnight, so it's technically Wednesday morning. I didn't blog last night, and this will probably be posted up later today on YouTube and Facebook, but I want to get this out in the opening in light of tragic events on the news that I slightly saw, so I won't go there, but I will go to what i seen on one of these uh, Facebooks or YouTube videos I saw. So one, I'm not a podcaster, and if I was, I would, would love to have that job, as long as it allows me to travel and actually go do interviews to the people I think that honestly need to be slapped in the face. This one particular priest, minister, clergyman, whatever you want to call him, I want to say he was in Phoenix, Arizona. All right. I was, I'm a strong believer in God. Let's get that out of the way. First and foremost, I strongly believe in God. And I don't know if the Bible that you read or read is the same Bible that the late Reverend Johnson taught me about. And whatever that phrase is, when I find it, I'll go look for it myself. But I really don't think that God wants to kill his creations. I don't think he wants a radical nation to kill his creations. And the fact that I need to lock my door so no one interrupts me. While I'm preaching to a preacher about how you, the men of the cloth, God, and the rest of us, for a priest, pastor, or whatever. As Jesus loves me, this I know, the Bible tells me so. Where in the hell is it in you because you're gay and I'm going to kill you every damn day? I don't think so. The Lord is all-powerful. The Lord is the only one who has the right to take a life. And seek vengeance. So whatever Bible you are reading about people getting killed by a radical nation, you're an asshole. Hold on. No, you're beneath assholes because I'm an asshole. And see, there's, there's more than one type of asshole. But see, I'm not a smelly asshole. You're a smelly asshole. You're a man of God. How dare you preach hatred? How dare you say... I don't condemn gay people, but I would not shoot people, but I will watch them shoot it. Okay, I remember I was watching it on the Young Turks. And I would like to have a job with them too, because I don't really see too many people of color there. No offense. But this bastard had the balls to basically say, I'm not a racist, but... And the guy on the Young Turks pointed that out. And I mean, I, I appreciate the Young Turks. They're, they're cool-ass dudes, man. But this dude that they showed... This preacher, man, come on. You're a man of God. How dare you preach hatred? Priests aren't supposed to preach hatred. Even a Shaolin monk will do everything he can to resist killing his enemy, though he has been dangerously, lethally trained to do so. Monks and priests are supposed to be holy men. Holy men only kill in the name of God if necessary. To save a village, to save a child, to stop a woman from being raped, and there's no other solution but to take a life. Then and only then will a holy man take a life. But a holy man knows just like every other man. Only God is correct. This little asshole that swore his allegiance to ISIS and... To every other asshole that's done that, that's American or descendants of immigrants who moved here so that you can have a good life. Fuck y'all. And to, to this preacher. You should be struck by lightning. Every orifice of your body should bleed. Black blood. You should be drawn and quartered. I'm trying to think of other medieval tortures that should happen to you. You should be put in an Iron Maiden by a bunch of gay people and they should slam the doors on you a couple of thousand times so you can see how it feels to have a bullet ripped through your chest. How dare you, as a man of God, say that I would not shoot them, but I would give someone the gun that would shoot them. So you're basically going against the Ten Commandments of thou shall not kill and you call yourself a man of God? What are you, like 20 years old? I'm 42, man. And no church that I've been to, rather I was in the army or in the civilian world, has ever told me that taking a life was cool. 
I got infantry because I'm a dumbass. Nothing more, nothing less. I didn't pray for infantry. I prayed to get in. And unfortunately, when you can't do math very well in the military, you get infantry. And unless you really want to do infantry, let me tell you something. I didn't get infantry because I wanted to kill people. I got infantry because I can't do math. But I joined the military to hopefully make a difference in life. And not go and take people's lives because I have to. But in the event, to quote the American Sniper, I'm ready to answer for every life that I would have taken if I've had to. Because one way or another, we do all have to answer to God. And as a preacher, as a priest, as a man of God, the young church are right. They didn't say it, so I'll say it for them because I don't work for them. But you, my friend, there is no place in heaven for a priest who promotes hate. And there's no place in heaven for a man who would outwardly give a gun to someone who hates someone because of their sexual preference or their sexual diversity or whatever you want to call it. I don't want to offend anybody gay. I like gay people. They're actually the bravest people on the earth. You know why? Because they have to live above everyone else. They live every day wondering who's going to be pissed off because of their lifestyle. And I say to them, you got, you got my support and I got your back. That probably didn't come out right. But either way, no. This asshole that shot up you guys on Florida, he's a dick. He's going to get his in hell. Don't worry about that. God's going to take care of that. But, you know, the, the really messed up thing is to have a preacher come on and say stuff like this. And, and this is why I thank God for the Young Turks. Because these guys, they have been on point with everything that they have posted. If you don't watch them, you probably should. Because they don't post, like, bullshit. You know, when they, when they touch on a subject, they touch on a subject. And it, it, it really hits home if you actually sit down and watch for the 15 minutes that you can find them. You know... These guys are the best. And if you don't like information, then you probably don't want to watch the Young Turks. But if you love learning and you care about your fellow man, you should watch the Young Turks. I love the Young Turks. I haven't seen a lot of videos, but every one that I have seen, where whether it be a woman issue or a man issue or a gay or a straight issue, they have hit that. And they have hit that hammer on that nail and never missed a beat. So for all of you guys, this is not a promotion to the Young Turks. But it can be if they want to use it. You should watch the Young Turks. You will learn something from these gentlemen and these ladies that are on there. Now, going back to the preacher. May God have mercy on your soul. May you never walk down an alley and bump into some of these people that you don't like. But if you do, and I'm speaking for my own personal benefit of this, if you do happen to walk down an alley, and bump into some gay fellas or some lesbian chicks. I hope they whoop your ass. I don't want them to kill you. But I hope they whoop your ass. Because I'm going to touch on one more thing. Just one, one more thing. And then I'm going to get off. One more thing. You talked about how gay people are pedophiles. You talked about how gay men molest boys. And how gay women molest girls. And calling them pedophiles and monsters and shit like that. You disgusting piece of trash. First and foremost, if you're not really up to speed on a lot of things, well, I hate to tell you, but in the last seven years or so, like before I joined the army and before my life went to hell, uh, why don't you check out how many priests molested choir boys? Priests who were straight men. Priest, you know, like you. A priest going around raping young choir boys in the Catholic Church, in the Baptist Church. Don't know too much about the Christian Church because they haven't like really blown out, but in the Baptist Church is in Richmond a few years back. That was on the news, and I'm from Charlottesville, so, you know, we get Richmond's news. We don't get it like we used to, but we still get it. And there is such thing as the newspaper, so we do read the newspaper around here. For us older people who actually can read and don't have to have an electronic and a slide finger, you know, we actually can read. So why don't you think about how many of your priest, your fellow brotherhood, have molested kids in the Catholic Church and have not done a stint of time in jail? Maybe you guys don't remember a few years back when one priest got something. It was before the new guy came, the Pope. 
And they didn't, like, fire this guy. They didn't arrest him. They didn't do anything. They moved him to another church. So I'm just waiting to see if he's going to get any more victims in his new church. So while you're condemning gay people and, and hurting them and everything, why don't you start worrying about those priests that are watching your kids? Because sooner or later, you might blink. And when you do, you're going to realize how hard the universe actually is. And when you find out that one of your kids or somebody you know has been molested by a preacher who supposedly is a monster, but only gay people molest people, yeah, that's some bullshit. But since you want to go there, you know, and I have gay friends and I know gay people and no gay person I've ever met has ever molested someone. They might have been molested, but they've never molested anyone. So you need to watch your tone, young man. And if you're going to preach the word of God, then preach it all. Don't forget how God may love you and hate the sin, but God doesn't hate anyone. And supposedly, if you go by the Bible, God doesn't make mistakes. So are you saying gay people are mistakes? Are you calling them all pedophiles and monsters? Well, there's just as many pedophiles and monsters sitting in your church. Just because you can't see them doesn't mean that they're not there. I'm James Williams Chiu. This is Kung Fu Havoc number two. Be seeing you. And again, thank you Young Turks for giving me that video and letting me understand what I've been missing while trying to do other things. But, you know, I've been up to speed on most of the new stuff. But I can't believe that a man of God would come out of his mouth with some, I wouldn't kill them, but I'll let some radical nation kill them because of whatever verse in the Bible or whatever, whatever. I'm like, Okay, well, you know, when I was going to church, when I was a little boy, it was always, Jesus loved me, this I know, because the Bible tells me so. Some of the people in my church, when I was a little boy, were gay. Some of the people who were related to the higher-ranking officials in the church were gay. And in the long run, if I may add this one thing before I exit out of here, we got terrorists attacking the world and you want to condemn people because they're gay? How do you sleep at night? You know, you know why you sleep at night? I'm going to show you why you sleep at night. Because my fellow soldiers are out there and some of them may be gay. But they're out there dying and protecting your all holier than thou ass. So before you think about being a preacher and the word of God and hating people because of their gay? Those initials. What would Jesus do? Maybe you should have thought about that before you posted this fucking video. Because you're a dick. I am sorry if I have offended anyone of the church. But if you haven't seen the video, go to the Young Turks. They have it. It's the preacher. He's an asshole. Excuse me. He's not an asshole because I'm an asshole. He's a smelly asshole. He stinks to high hell. Anytime a preacher preaches hate, he does not deserve to be a man of the cloth. I'm James Williams Jr. And that's a food for thought. Thank you.